Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. Ah, yes, the sweet science. This guy could have been a professional boxer, probably a world champion if he so chose. He loves the MMA game, but his boxing is certainly his bread and butter. I mean, a guy that was on par to make an Olympic team, and that is in one specific skill set. When you reach that level, when you're winning the national championship, and you're about to go to the Olympics, but you choose a different avenue. Yeah. You decide you want to fight mixed martial arts. It's truly something special. He has the most educated jab I have ever seen in the octagon. He throws the jab. It always comes back to the face. It never goes to the hip. And if you rush him, if you rush him, he has an ability to switch stances from conventional to southpaw and land a great counter right hand that will put your lights up. Better jab than your guy, Rosendo Sanchez. Oh, it's no. unbelievable. He puts Rosendo Sanchez to shame. All right, here he is, the decorated kickboxer, back for more here tonight, and he's so comfortable in the striking realm. It's almost like he started kickboxing before he ever was reading or writing. Oh, it's unbelievable to see someone that's so comfortable under so much duress. I know. When you're in kickboxing range, you are in the fire. There is no safety. You're right in range to be getting knocked out, but he does not fear that. He loves it. He loves the, com he loves the combat. He loves the engagement. But what you have to understand is he's not engaging his opponents on their terms. He's doing it on his terms. Whether or not he wants to be in close with the big punches or he wants to be at range landing kicks, he's just constantly putting damage on you. Top, bottom, up, low, it does not matter. This guy is a dominant striker, one of the best kickboxers the UFC has ever seen. And in terms of the punching technique and the jab, as good as anyone in this division. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 237 pounds. Lights out! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 8 inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Hong Kong. The Apex! You can give me your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. Ready. So two truly elite strikers here. We sat down with them on Thursday and asked them, any thoughts of taking this fight to the ground? They want to strike. Today. They want to strike. That's what got them to the show. That is the path that they are normally on. And tonight they get someone that allows them to fight in their comfort zone. They don't have to worry about defending takedowns. All they have to worry about is who can rely on their knowledge in the striking to carry them to victory. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Beautiful punch. Let it go now. <laughs> Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. There's no give on that leg kick. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Oh, he missed with that right hand. Oh, he got that inside leg kick to the target there, DC. You don't want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. It starts to beat up the inside thigh. That is the technique you use to really slow down your opponent. 
big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? All right, he engages in the single collar tie. And there comes the separation now. Offensive fight, nice job to block the shot there. Now he gets a more dominant position with the underhook. He is gonna start to drive these over and over. You gotta be careful here, you gotta move. Boy, Todd Plump. Massive elbow lands in the clinch. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. Oh, spinning past this. He didn't telegraph that one at all. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Got the single collar tie. Continues to work out of that tie clinch. A oh, big right hook, but a whiff. Both guys really throwing with authority. Look at him whip his hips into that kick. Big left hook coming, it's blocked. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. While the body was wide open, his opponent took advantage. Kick to the body, lands flush. He's gonna have to make some adjustments here moving forward. Over and over, he landed these big body kicks. Sound defense there as he blocks the shot. Trying to establish that jab once again. So he lands a double jab there. He continues to work off of that weapon, and you felt like that was a big key for him coming into it. Very important for him to start popping that jab. He's doing it over and over again, and he's finding a ton of success. Big punch land. Ooh. Real quick leg kick. Good job keeping that head off the center line. Slips to avoid the right hand. Oh, single collar tie here. Big head kick. Oh, how about this kicking game on full display tonight? Kick back to back. Just truly mixing up the target. Sight to behold. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, single collar tie there. Oh, Superman punch. Not always easy to execute. He did so there. That one's a nice strike. Right. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Thirty seconds now to go in round one. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Back to the leg kick now. That one's no good. Ten seconds now to go in the round. Oh, bone on bone, shin slash foot right to the skull. You see why I'm a commentator and not a fighter? You see why? Yeah, those aren't fun. I'm telling you, man, you get kicked in the head. A lot of times, it's the end of the night. Got a little experience with that. Yes, I do. A little bit. It's horrible. All right, let's get you some highlights from that previous round, DC. I don't care how strong your core is. You can't take too many more of those body kicks. John, you can't train for that. I mean, you cannot train to take those types of body kicks. They start to really wear at your gas tank, and then you start to make mistakes. When you take that many body kicks, you start making mistakes, and before you know it, the fight's over. Oh, nice kick right there. Tell the masses how, how good that feels to get kicked like that. John, it doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't feel good to get kicked like that. Big ball punch land. Now we get back to range. Oh, and he lands yet another strike to the body. Pinpoint placement right underneath the elbow. Oh, he got that knee up to the head. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. They continue to exchange. Oh, and a 
nice jab by him there, and that's gonna give his opponent some problems if that keeps landing. He's having a tough time getting his offense going because that jab is just stopping him every time. Oh, he hurt him bad with the jab. Great punch landing with so much power. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, oh. no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Man punches true. Ooh, what a punch. He's timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very accurate. Oh, spinning back fist out of nowhere. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Strong defense there to block the shot. Hands up. Oh, nice flip there and a beautiful counter. Real sneak by the ball. Oh, big punch lands. Right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Big punch from the clinch. Can't take many of those, you better check. Stuff the takedown, no problem. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. And they separate. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Well, you gotta think he's gonna enjoy watching this one back tomorrow morning. He has landed a ton of significant strikes, and. Really a guy who has been a monster in the gym finally putting it together here in the octagon. To go home and admire your work, it doesn't take till the next morning. He's going back to school right now to fire up the video to look at beauty in action. And he was the one causing all the action. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Just misses with the straight right. There's the kick, it's blocked. All right, single collar tie now. Powerful leg kick lands. Great punch. Take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault, and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Gotta be careful here, though, not to gas out. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Looking to land the right hand, he misses. Striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round.
All right, the action continues here and now as our next round gets underway. The previous round would be confused for a round of the year, but pretty good action. It was a pretty good round. Not every round is going to have you standing up out of your seat. You understand that you are watching the highest level of fighting in the entire world in the UFC. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Another elbow from the clinch, Lance. Continues to mix it up, going to the head. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Blocks that kick to the body. Big clinch position. Watch him get busy with that other hand. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Superman punch. And the kick lands. Single collar tie now. And they separate. I mean, he's cutting them down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, big head kick. Nice punch there. Well, not much of a setup there. Misses with the left hook. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Ooh, blocks the shot. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. And now he's got that tie clinch. Look at the control of the posture as he lands that knee. Big kick land. He's got the over-under now in the clinch. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. A little struggle here now for position in the clinch, and we see a lot of these situations in mixed martial arts where both fighters sort of end up getting comfortable here when there isn't a whole lot going on. And the moment somebody gets comfortable, the moment that somebody decides to relax, the moment you'll see a takedown or somebody really speed out ahead of their opponent, you got to be aware when you're chest to chest in this 50-50 position. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. So a nice straight punch there after he caught the leg. He decides to punch out as opposed to going for any takedown. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh! Ooh, diving punch lands. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High level grappling can really be entertaining. All right, trying to pass here. As Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping them in full guard. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. All right, working inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit in these jiu-jitsu guys' guard. And you can't have one arm in, one arm out. Guys who start throwing up legs, chasing triangles. All right, some really grueling work here in the clinch. Both fighters really struggling to gain a dominant position. That happens whenever you understand the position. Both know exactly what they need to do. And when both fighters are trying to do the same thing, it's very, very difficult to get the desired result. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the field. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. 
Oh, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you gotta like the output here down the stretch. Oh, man, this guy kicked off. Oh, and what a round! All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned. A huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. Nice punch lands over the top. Big leg kick lands. Oh, slips him and rips him. How about the upper body movement there? Oh, and he lands a knee to the body now, DC. Talk to us about that strike. They suck so bad, especially when you're going forward. You walk full speed to a knee to the body. It could in the night. Leg kick. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. He lands a switch knee. Beautiful strike. Way to hide that leg kick. Try to establish that jab. Yeah, that right there is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. All right, DC, no Telestrator tonight, but we're going to get to some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moments, you got to show up, and that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. And there he is after a massive knockout here tonight. Near-perfect execution and a seminal moment for him here in the Octagon tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute of round number four. We're playing the winner by knockout, the Apex. So the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by knockout. He spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that'll listen, I am going to knock this man out. He did it in an even more impressive fashion than he ever could have imagined.